Well, the Elkhart Parks and Recreation is hosting a few not so spooky events for Halloween and the superintendent Jameson Zarnecki is here with all the details. It is that time of year and the Elkhart Parks Department is busy. I yes. think you're busy at Christmas, but I think you may maybe um, you've added a lot of things in the last few years to celebrate Halloween. So yep. tell me a little bit about this not so spooky part because you know right, Jackie and right. I don't like spooky things. Oh no! Well, this no. is the event for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's perfect. Tell me all about it. Sure. Uh, so our our not so spooky uh, haunted woods uh, walk is going to be this Saturday, uh, and it'll be five to seven p.m. at Pinewood Park. It's a little unknown park in the yeah. city. Uh, it's behind Pinewood Elementary School. Um, essentially, people can come. They take their kids. Dressing up is encouraged, but not mandatory. But uh, it's a great opportunity for kids to dress up trick or treat in a natural setting. Uh, there's a lot of blow ups. There's a lot of um, figurines that people can take pictures with. Uh, we have community partners. Uh, we always partner with the Elkhart Fire and Elkhart Police Departments, and um, it's their. You know, some people have their favorite events, and I, I really think this is one of theirs because they oh, do it yeah. really big. <clears throat> do um, they dress up? They do, yes. I mean, other uh, than like policemen and firemen? Oh, I don't know about everybody. <laughs> I know there's a mixture of both, so. Okay. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's an easy walk. I think the whole thing takes 10, 15 minutes maybe to walk oh. through. Um, so, and, and that's designed on purpose because you don't want to have a 30 minute walk for uh, little your littles long. to go through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's, you know, it's a really great opportunity to have a trick-or-treating experience where you know where the candy is coming from mm -hmm. and you know there's a safety aspect involved there and so you absolutely. can feel good about what the kids are getting yeah yeah know. absolutely um, you know I, I think it's a it's a thing that people have to think about nowadays is you know that element of trick-or-treating um, for us we just want to provide another opportunity where you know if you're not in a neighborhood that is filled with residents sure. that, that do that you know many times we find that people are moving less and less to, to doing it and so it's not a great experience for a kid to plan for Halloween and then only to see five houses you know on his street right participate well I used to live on your street. Yeah, oh, that is. <laughs> on know. Strong Avenue in Elkhart. <laughs> and um, boy, they know how to do Halloween on Strong Avenue, let me yeah. tell you. The neighbors yeah. warned me. They're like, you're going to have some trick or treaters. But I had, I think, 5,000 pieces of candy mm -hmm. and they were all gone. Yeah, it and should so really be in the disclosures when you buy your home <laughs> that this is a requirement. <laughs> right. Because people, you know, it's not like they force you, but. It is an expectation that you just you have to participate and it's a lot of fun and yeah. Strong Avenue is one of those neighborhoods that just it's got a lot of kids, a lot of residents. So well, and the Alex from Alex Home Medical live on okay. on that and they used to own Alex drugstores. And so back in the day, they would give out whole full size Hershey bars. And that's where the lore of Strong Avenue <laughs> Came. So that's where I think started. that they're in Florida right. now, but um, <clears throat> that's an amazing, uh, that's amazing treat. Yeah, that was so the house to be. It at. was so. But so yeah. yeah, for all of those Strong Avenue residents, you know, you you're stuck at home, or you've got to be gone before trick or treating starts. Right. But so what else is going on? Oh, Hocus Pocus two. Yes, you're actually, a, like a Hocus drive? Pocus one. Oh, yes. yeah, oh. that was that was my mistake when I told the producers uh, I accidentally you were just trying put to, two. So oh, well. I was also excited, but then yeah. my team had to tell me. We're actually in Hocus Pocus 1. And I said, Which that makes more fun. sense because Hocus Pocus 2 sounded like that was a lot of money we didn't have. So, yeah. uh, but Hocus Pocus 1, it's an outdoor movie theater experience. It is still going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, people can drive in like they did back in the, you know, 70s and 80s when, or I mean, up until recently, we still have an outdoor movie. We still movie. have drive We out. do have okay. one. Yes, that's true. The I 70s forgot. and the 80s, Jameson. So where is They're that going to be? Um, so it's going to be at Ideal Beach on the east side of town. Oh, yeah. Yep. And uh, it's 5 to 7 p.m. as well. So people can drive up, uh, we'll have it tuned to their radio, or you can get out of your car and put a blanket down and some lawn chairs, bring your own oh. snacks. We'll have concessions, but um, you know, half the fun is getting to bring your own snacks for, for a lot less money than you pay yeah, for at the movie theater. You can't do that at the real movies. Yeah. But yeah. you can here. And that Ideal Beach is one of the hidden gems of mm -hmm. the Elkhart Parks Department, I think. Yeah, well, we've got big plans for that too. So I'm excited to, to bring that to you at some point and, yeah. and share that out. But um, yeah, the, the outdoor movie experience is a lot of fun, uh, highly encouraged. It's free, there's no cost. So, um, you know, a that. lot of our events are, are trying you're doing to be free. in Elkhart. So, and then when is real trick or treating? Do you know? Uh, that will be, I believe, October 31st. Like on Halloween. Uh, on Halloween that go Monday. Go big or go home. So, yes. Monday trick or treating. Well, 
as always, you're doing a great job, and there's a lot much. of opportunities for families to participate in a lot of things for free in Elkhart. Um, ElkhartIndiana.org will get you all the information. You can also find the Elkhart Parks and Rec on Facebook, so check out those two sites for more information, and you can kind of plan your fall around Jameson's schedule, which sounds like a good plan to me. Halloween happenings in Elkhart. Love it.